I'm Javante. Simone. And we are the Patton. Hey, it's Javante. And Simone. And we are the, the Patton. Patton. We are so excited. We just purchased our first Oh, <laughs> this is our um, first moment being in here as the owners. The owners. The owners of a brand new house. <laughs> um, I wouldn't have wanted to do this or partner with any other human being in the world uh, than my life partner, my beautiful wife, Aww. Simone. So oh, I'm sweet. excited <laughs> to do that with her. Um, I just turned 30. She is 29 and um, just she just graduated from college. Yes. And so to have a homeowner, a college educated black woman raising three African American women in our house is definitely what I wanted my life to be. And it all goes to God, yes. uh, nothing to me. We moved to Atlanta, Georgia, September, 2019. And uh, my wife got a job promotion. So that's yes, what took us I there. Did. A lot of people came up with fabricated stories that I was on a career hunt or anything like that, but that was not the case. I wanted to be a supportive um, husband because sometimes in the uh, marriage structure, the man makes all the decisions. The man is this and the man is that. And raising daughters, I don't want them to go into a married scenario doing that. So my wife wanted to take a job opportunity and she finished college. Yes. We were young, we had nothing to lose, why not? So we did that. Um, pregnancy complications brought us back, brought us back to um, Minneapolis, Minnesota where we purchased our home. So all the questions are, well, are you guys in Atlanta? Are you guys in Minneapolis? We back in Minneapolis and yes. we are happy about it. We're here. We have not lost <laughs> anything. We have gained more. Um, I'll let her talk about why we came back. But in between, before she gets to that, Dr. Matthew Stevenson, the pastor of All Nations Worship Assembly, he gave us a word. It's going to be a miracle that the Lord does in and through you, irrespective of your last doctor's report. And I see where that baby is gonna be positioned the right way. Ho, 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 ho. Uh, about our baby. Yes. And she was breached and, and she turned around. And some of you may have seen the testimony, but um, he released that word to us and that was direction for us to come back home. And I'll let my wife talk about the, that process and the baby being born. Yes. Um, so just to kind of piggyback on what my husband was saying, my fine husband, um, when we were there, he was telling us, he was prophesying to us that the baby was gonna turn around. And we hadn't told anyone that the baby was breech or uh, that we were having different issues or that I was this close to um, having preeclampsia and different things that we were dealing with, um, but he said the baby was gonna be positioned the right way. Little did we know that was a two-part word because uh, we came back to Minnesota to deal with my doctor. My doctor knows my body, and there they were trying to push a C-section. I wasn't really wanting to do that. So we came back home so that they could really help me and assist me on what we needed uh, for our baby. And when we got here, we went into labor, she was positioned the wrong way. She was head down, but she was sunny side up. And the head is supposed to be the other way so that they can slide out um, easier and nothing happens to damage their heads. Uh, so they had to go in there and position her the right way. Uh, she was head down at the time though. So it was, after that it was an easy labor, but we did deal with some stuff. Her arm was trying to come out first and they had to push it back and things of that nature. So thank God that we did come back um, and that we did listen to the prophet and listen to what he was saying and um, actually believed it and took it because had we not come back, the situation could have been a lot different. Yes. Um, but in coming back and being obedient, we were able to 
start. We were already in the home buying process and trying to start it and we were thinking about buying down there. But when we came back, the process happened within like three months range and it was so phenomenal. And it tied, tied me back to us being, being obedient and listening to you know what we were supposed to do. Um, and because of that, we're in a brand new foundation, brand new house built from ground up in yes. there. Landscaping still has to be done and um, we're excited to be here. So Good Friday, it's Good Friday. And when we got our closing date from Aaron at PRG and Trey, our realtor, it was unbelievable that yes. God would <laughs> have us close on Good Friday. We just had a baby on Christmas, so it's like we get all the Christian holidays for good stuff to happen to yes. us. <laughs> and um, we knew it was the Lord. We knew it was the Lord. And when we were in Atlanta for that time period, I believe it was about three months, we got a, we got another word at William Murphy, Bishop William Murphy Church, yes. uh, Apostle Jennings. He is amazing. That that's like Love. our other, yes. like our other pastor. He didn't know me personally. I didn't know him personally. And they did an altar call, and he was done with the altar call. He said, "Come here." And I was just I was standing like in the back. I wasn't like in the front. Like pick me, pick me. That was not it. But the only thing on my mind that they was moving to Atlanta. He said, "You're about to be a homeowner." It's the first thing he said to me. You're about to be a homeowner. And when he spoke that to me, I had a Baptist fit. I just got <laughs> to shouting all over the place because it was a direct word from heaven. And so to be sitting in this moment, to yeah. be signing those papers and closing. You didn't say this part though. He gave us the word in September. They broke ground here in October. So we knew it was ours. Mm -hmm.